Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James the Chart Guys. It is Tuesday, February 6th. Going to do my nightly video on gold. <clears throat> gold has having some bearish development here on the daily charts. So losing the 20 MA today, uh, which was at 1337, got to close below that. And uh, Bear MACD on the daily as well. Uh, TCG Bear Cross or the 4 EMA cross under the 8 EMA. Uh, looks like the 4 and 8 EMA are going to cross under the 20 EMA as well uh, for another Bear Cross here um, using the moving averages. Uh, what we had yesterday was a inside candle high and low within the previous ranges high and low. We we opened above yesterday's close, uh, so that shows that bulls may uh, change things around. But unable to set a higher high again on this four-hour chart. Again, four hour chart, pullback, consolidation, lower high, pullback, cons pull back, consolidate, lower high, and another dump here. Um, so looking at this daily, we opened up higher than yesterday's close, but then all the selling pressure and closing uh, closer to the lows of the day uh, with a close of 1326.90. And that's on increasing bear volume on this inside candle bear break. So that is definitely a concern for the gold bulls. The hourly RSI is oversold. So again, uh, now that we are in a bearish uh, bearish trend on the daily, in my opinion, uh, with the loss of the 20 MA middle ball in Japan, any of these oversold bounces are just going to be that oversold bounces. So there are opportunities to trade it for bulls, uh, but clearly need to just be that just quick trades. Um, and on any bounce attempt, we there is a first resistance on this hourly is going to be at 1336.50. That's way above, um, pretty well above where we're at today. At this moment, ending the day, five minute. Five minute, getting oversold bounces as well. But that's about it. I would, I would not swing anything in gold right now for the bulls. If you look at the weekly, the weekly chart is also in a bit of trouble. Uh, we had an inside candle and we are breaking bear on that uh, clearly upper wick of profit taking setting lower highs on the weekly um, and now breaking to a lower low by breaking this bear uh, this inside candle bear bulls need to close above 13 30 10 by the close of the week we'll see how that plays out with uh, three more trading days left and what bears want to see is this close below 1330.10 on increasing volume. That would be ideal if we had increasing weekly volume on this uh, breakdown here. So we're right at the ADMA here now on the weekly at 1326.90. That's certainly something to watch for. Uh, the US dollar. Getting a bounce here on the weekly. Let me remove this line. That is a monthly line. US dollar getting a bounce. Uh, also has an inside candle, so what US dollar bulls want to do is close above, ideally, uh, 89.637 here on the weekly chart. So we'll see how that plays out with the inside candle on gold together. I'm looking at GDX here. I'm looking at this monthly equilibrium pattern that we have on GDX. So after this huge move that we've had on this GDX monthly, we are clearly in an equilibrium pattern. We have a high, a low, and we're getting tighter here, tighter and tighter. Um, we're getting we're setting higher lows and lower highs, so we're getting tight here. Uh, what what bulls want to do is really uh, maintain this low here of 2127. Um, so we'll see if they're able to hold 2127 on senior miners. If they break 2127, for me that's going to be a bear predicament. This is a longer term chart again. This is the monthly. I'm looking much further longer term. Um, if we break above this recent high of 2486, you want to see a break of 2558. Um, for the bulls. This is just longer term views. See how this plays out with throughout the rest of the year. GDXJ, same thing, high, low, lower, high, higher, low, lower, high, higher, higher, low, lower, high. It's getting tight here as well. 
And Bears want to see a break of 34, uh, 30, 29, 84, and Bulls want to see a break of uh, 36, 08. So definitely a lot of range there, but um, this is just a long-term pattern that's going to play out at some point this year, uh, likely. Looking at shorter time frames here on GDX, you have the daily first. So daily we had a dump here, consolidated and further dump. Um, you can still see that we're having increasing bear volume. So the bears have not tired out yet on uh, the on on this uh, pullback in the the miners here. Uh, we've lost all kinds of support here on the daily. Let's see if we have any weekly support. The next weekly support is here at the low of 2127. Again, this is this is the monthly chart playing out. So uh, for me, 2127 is a must hold on the weekly chart for the bull miners. We can get some intraday time frames. Hourly is oversold. Again, hourly oversold is, have been just short-term bounces. And yesterday I mentioned that even with all that market weakness, where is, yeah, with all that market weakness in gold, go back to the gold candle. On all that volatility, you would expect gold to have absolutely gone through the roof there um, as a traditional safe haven. But you can see that the, the there was not much bull volume coming into it on this small green candle here. Um, and really showing weakness there uh, yesterday as a alternative to what was going on in the markets and being crazy. And actually what I saw was a lot of institutional buying uh, of, of SPY, SPY of, of, in SPY, the, uh, the S&P 500 ETF. I saw a lot of buying in SPY institutional, 1 million uh, over 1 million sh common share buys at a time. Saw that today as well. They didn't. They don't show up intraday. They they usually show up after hours uh, when brokers settle their books. Um, and you can see the rally that SPY had today. Uh, so seems like institutional buyers use it as an opportunity to buy back into equities on that dump rather than uh, being fearful and running to traditional safe havens. So definitely keep that in mind. Again, gold is. Uh, this daily daily is in favor of the bears now, um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. This this isn't a uh, this is not a bearish engulfing, but uh, definitely if there was a little more body there, it would be a bearish engulfing. But this is still a very very bearish candle here again with increasing bear volume inside candle uh, bear break bulls. Even though they they opened above the uh, high of yesterday's close, unable to maintain that price as selling pressure took it all the way down. Uh, past the low of yesterday and the low of the mother candles. So definitely bearish development. Um, I would start looking bearish on gold at this point with this development here on the daily. So have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.